This is a continuation of the previous video wherein we learned how the bank account is to be prepared. We posted journal entries into the bank account. In this video, we are going to post the rest of journal entries in the rest of accounts as well. So let us get started. Now, we are going to look at owner's capital account. Bank account is done. Let's start with owner's capital account or shareholder's uh, capital account. I am using these two interchangeably. So I am going to click on this link and I am going to jump to shareholders capital account. And since you know the general entry says owners capital, please uh, use these two. I use these two terms interchangeably. So owners capital account and ignore bank ac loan account for now. Only focus on uh, shareholders capital account. Again, same format. You have a debit side. You have a credit side. There are three columns on debit side, three columns on credit side. So nothing changes as far as the format of this ledger account is concerned. Now we have to look for journal entries which involve shareholders capital account and then bring those journal entries to this ledger account. So the first transaction involves the capital account and in this journal entry we are crediting the capital account therefore the rule is to go to the credit side of owner's capital account and when we go there we're going to write the name of the other account involved in this transaction which is the bank account so i go to owner's capital account here go to credit side i'm going to write transaction uh, number one and i'm going to write the name of the other account involved which is bank account and as the convention is we prefix a buy with it the amount is 100 so I'm going to write 100 here that's it that completes the posting of a journal entry into a relevant account now let us look at the journal entries for other you know let's look for other journal entries which may involve owner's capital account transition 2 doesn't Three doesn't, four doesn't, five to eight transaction, no, nine to twelve, none, thirteen and fourteen, none. So there is no other transaction which involves owner's capital account. So uh, when you know, let's go back and look at this account. I intentionally kept small space for this account because I knew there was only one transaction, and you know, this is again a simulation. So you don't have many transactions on capital, but in a real business, you know, owners can bring in, shareholders can bring in money regularly. It could be every year the money is coming in, so there can be more transactions. But for now, uh, posting into shareholders capital account is finished. There was only one transaction. Then we go back to the list of journal entries and uh, just to be, you know, uh, as a matter of process, I'm going to say, first journal entry i'm going to cross it because i have now posted this journal entry in the bank account and also in the owner's capital account so from my side the full entry has been posted now if you are wondering uh, you know that we are doing duplication we are using the same entry we are posting it in the bank account and also in the owner's capital account well it's not duplication it is the double entry system. It That is the basis of double entry system. That's the scientific process that is being used. Every transaction has at least two sides. There are two sides to the coin. One side is debit, the other is credit. Both complement each other. So that's how this record is gonna prepare. So as we move forward, uh, we will, you know, I will show you more uh, on, you know, you'll get more sense of more evidence of uh, why we are, you know, posting it in both the accounts. But in summary, you know, uh, in the end, you see assets are equal to liabilities. That's the double entry system. That's, you know, one transaction affecting at least two items in such a way that accounting equation holds. That's the uh, double entry system. Okay, let's move forward to transaction two. In transaction two, we have already posted the uh, this transaction in the bank account. So bank loan account is what is remaining. So bank loan account is being credited. I will go to credit side of bank loan account and I'm going to write uh, uh, buy bank account. So let's just go to 
bank loan account here. I'm going to go to credit side and I will write bank account 200. And as the convention is, I'll write a buy and I have to write transaction number in place of date. And done. You have posted the general entry, uh, entry rating to bank loan account into the bank loan account. Okay, now transaction 2 is done from my side as well. Just to be safe, you know, I don't want any confusion later when I come back and I look at these transactions again. So I'm just cro crossing these off. I'm going to look at other rest of transactions to see if there is any, uh, you know, transaction which involves bank account. 5 through 8, no uh, bank loan account. 9 through 12, there was no bank loan, no other transaction in the bank loan account. Therefore, uh, bank loan account has also been taken care of. Let us go to, go to next transaction, transaction 3. In transaction 3, we already have taken care of bank account. We have to look at purchase account. Purchase account being debited means we will go to the debit side of purchase account and we are going to write to bank account 50. So let us go to purchase account and write to bank account and 50. This is transaction, was it 3 or 4? So transaction 3. So transaction 3 and I go to purchase account and done. You go to debit side, you write the name of the other account involved and the transaction has been posted. So from this transaction, you have uh, uh, posted this uh, uh, transaction into bank account in the purchase account also. So again, I'm just going to cross it off to make sure, you know, uh, uh, the things are visible to me. I know I have done this transaction. Let's go to transaction four now. It again involves purchase account and it involves ABC account. So I am going to prepare, uh, you know, use the transaction to go to purchase account. So debit, I am going to go to debit side, write transaction 4 and write the name of the other account involved, which is ABC limited account 50 rupees. So to ABC limited account 50 and this is transaction 4 done now I go back and I have written this I have posted this transaction in the purchase account so I am done with the purchase account here now uh, the other account involved in this transaction is ABC limited's account which is being credited so what we're going to do is also go to ABC limited's account because this is double entry system we have to prepare record for every account which is involved. So we go to ABC Limited's account. On the credit side, we are going to write purchase 50 transaction 4. So ABC's account is here. We go to credit side and we write transaction 4 and we write buy purchase account. Buy purchase account 50. And if you remember, uh, this is the other side of the coin here. You have ABC Limited here. So in the purchase account, you have written ABC Limited. In ABC Limited's account, you have written purchase, right? And all of this is going to come together very soon. So just hold on. Now transaction 4 has been posted to both the accounts, purchase account and ABC account. So this is done. I am going to move forward. Now transaction 5. Transaction 5 has been posted in the bank account already, but not in the sales account. Sale account is being credited here. I am going to go to credit side of sale account and write transaction 5. I will write bank account 50. So I go to sales. On the credit side, I will write buy bank account 50. This is transaction 5. So transaction 5 has been uh, has now been posted into sales account. So I'm going to cross it off. Both the accounts, the entry has been posted to both the accounts. So again, I'm going to cross it off. Transaction 5, ledger posting completed. Transaction 6. In transaction 6, you have PQR limited account. 
it is being debited so i'm going to go to debit side of pqr's account and i'm going to write to sales account transaction 6 50 so pqr's account is here i go to debit side and i write transaction 6 and i'm going to write to sales account 50 done let me go back and look at it pqr to sale 50 this has been done i cross it off because i have posted this entry in pqr's account now the other account involved in this transaction is sales account sales account is being credited here i am going to go to the credit side of sale account and i will write buy pqr 50 transaction 6 so let's go to sale account and write buy pqr's account 50 and this is transaction 6 again the two sides of the uh, coin are again visible here you have uh, in pqr limited's account you've written two sales in sales account you've written buy pqr on the opposite sides of the two uh, accounts that's how debits and credits are going to come together transaction 6 posted in both the accounts i am done with transaction 6 let's go to transaction 7 rent account rent account debit i go to debit side of rent account and i'm going to write to bank 20 here is my rent account to bank account 20 and this is transaction 7 and we are done transaction 7 transaction 7 rent account debit to bank so posting has been done in rent account and for bank account we already did the posting uh, uh, you saw that in the previous video so transaction 7 is also complete let us go to transaction 8 now in transaction 8 we have building account so we create a building account and we are going to go to the debit side of building account so i have created a format for building account debit side we're going to write to bank account this is transaction 8 and the amount is 100 so building account amount is 100 and we are done posting this transaction in the building account the other account involved was bank account well we already posted all the transactions in the bank account and i still have it here just to show you this is the bank account and here is building already posted so we don't have to worry about this anymore so transaction 8 is also posted so crossing it off let us go to transaction 9 bank account debit to building account bank account taken care of building account is credit i am going to go to the credit side of building account i will write buy bank 30. so buy bank and 30 this is transaction 9 and we have posted this entry uh, transaction 9 30 done so building account the entry has been posted in the bank account entry was already posted transaction 9 is crossed off next up is uh, transaction 10 bank account already taken care of to interest income interest income account is being credited I am going to go to the credit side of interest income account and I will write buy bank 10. So here is interest income account credit side we are going to write buy bank account 10 and this is transaction 10 as well. Go back and you have transaction 10 done posted in both the accounts. Transaction 11 depreciation new account let's create an account for depreciation go to its debit side and write to building so depreciation here debit side we're going to write the name of the other account involved which is building to building account i think depreciation was transaction 11 and the amount is 10 so amount is 10 and transaction 11 done let us go back now in transaction 11 depreciation uh, has uh, the entry has been posted into depreciation account 
the building account is being credited we will go to credit side and we will write by depreciation 10 so building account by depreciation account depreciation account 10 and this is transaction 11 again two sides of the same entry you have building account 10 and here you have depreciation account 10 so in building account you're writing depreciation on the credit side in the depreciation account you're writing building on the debit side again this all of this will start to make sense once we finish this process and see what happens so depreciation account debit transaction 11 is done we have posted in both the accounts transaction 12 bank account debit taken care of to pqr account which is being credited we go to credit side of pqr and we write by bank 40 so go to pqr and write by bank account 40 this is transaction 12 and we're done we've posted this entry in pqr uh, account uh, bank account was already done crossing it off transaction 12 is done two more to go you have bad debt account debit open a new bad debt account create a new bad debt account and go to debit side and write to pqr 10 so i have the bad debts account here i'm going to write to pqr's account 10 and the transaction number is 13 let us go back and look at transaction 13 so bad debts the posting has been done pqr's account is being credited i'll go to credit side and i'll write the name of the other account which is bad debts so pqr's account here i'm going to write by bad debts by bad debts account this is 10 and this is transaction 13 and we're done posting this transaction so pqr's account here pqr's account the entry has been posted to that account as well transaction 13 crossed off we are done last transaction transaction 14 abc limited's account is being debited we go to debit side and we write to bank so we go to debit side and we write to bank account and we write 50 this is transaction 14 and there you go the other account involved in transaction 14 was bank account that has already been the entry has been posted to the bank account already and there you go this is the process of uh, ledger uh, posting this is how the transactions are taken to uh, their respective accounts and in the beginning uh, we said this is this process is about classifying the transactions now see how the transactions are being classified all bank transactions here all the share capital uh, shareholder capital transactions here all the bank loan transactions are here all the purchase related transactions are here uh, all the transactions with abc limited are here and so on for all the rest of the accounts which are involved here so let me stop here and i'm going to continue this in the uh, next video uh, video with more discussions on these accounts